Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we left off, we started things here with the Golden Festival. And we saw that there was a lot of new characters to talk to and things to do. So I think we're going to keep following up on that. I don't think we talked to this particular character. Well, wow, that, that bee is such a looker. Oh, oh yeah, this, this person. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it's the one that's obsessed with the... Or... The other bee? Maybe, maybe maybe the famous one, the one that's like a musician or whatever. Might be talking about that one. And there's a lot of bee here, bees here, to be fair. Alright, so last time there were a couple of the events that we could do, including the eating one and this one. I think it was like a uh, whack of worm. Ho oh ho, come to try some whack of worm. It's 15 worms for the prize. How to play. Easy. Every year, these pesky worms keep making holes in the aphid farms. Your goal is to get rid of all of them by hitting them before they escape. If you get close to them, they hide away, so you have to hit them from afar. Sounds like a job for you, V. Alright, time for some beamerang action. You've got a minute to reach the goal, and don't worry about the worms. They're too stubborn. They'll keep coming back for more. Ho ho! Want to try whack a worm? I'm ready. All right, let's get things rolling. Yeah. I'm ready to whack some worms. Said I need 15. So that doesn't sound too terribly difficult in all honesty. I say, but I am uh, messing up. Eh, I've already got five. So I think I'm pretty good. Did it say if you get too close, they run away? Yeah. There we go. That, so I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, wait, are they just expiring or am I getting too close? Sometimes they might just be, like, going away because I've taken too long. Whoop. That was the wrong direction. Completely. No. V. Throw the boomerang where I want you to. I shouldn't have done this with a joystick. Okay, I just need one more. There we go. That was close. Closer than it should have been. <laughs> 16. I wonder if you get, like, another prize if you do better. Oh-ho, 16, you sure showed those worms who's boss. They didn't know who they were messing with. Oh-ho-ho, -ho, that's right. Here you go, lass, you've earned this. You got the sun off a ring. Not bad, V. Not bad. Mm-hmm. I never knew such a uh, never knew a mission could be so fun. We still need one more offer. Hopefully it'll be as entertaining as it was to get this one. Slow fade to black. Ahem. One one moment, young lady. Huh, what's your deal? That boomerang you have there, where did you find it? I uh er I uh I bought it? Yeah, right. You stole my automated drone boomerang prototype, did you, you thief? <laughs> v, look what you've done. One moment, please. V is no thief. There must be a misunderstanding. Don't stick your horn where it doesn't belong. You ain't asked, you green stink bug. I didn't steal anything, okay? I bought it in the Ant Kingdom. Professor, please watch your temper. Doesn't she seem to have mastered the ADBP quite well? She could be useful. Useful? How could this... wait. Yes, I'm a genius. Listen up, you rascal. You can keep that prototype. If you help us gather data, and with some upgrade testing, you can't say no. This is what I get for buying from Shades. Fine, upgrades sound cool anyways. Hawk, give her the proto give her prototype the halt upgrade. Of course, Professor. Ooh, this is how I unlock that windmill. This will take just a moment. Yep, this is how I do it. This will allow it to stop in midair. Your beam ring has been upgraded. V can now use the hurricane toss skill in battle. Professor, I've successfully upgraded the ADBP. Doesn't seem like you did anything. 
Huh, as if you didn't know real science. The halt upgrade allows you to hold the prototype after you throw it. The physics work that way? Shush, Leif. That's awesome. Listen up. You just hold B after you toss it. That will hold the prototype in place until you release B. The kinetic energy generated by the halt should be enough to spin things around. That is literally impossible. In any case, we hope you'll aid with our research when you can. For example, why not uh, test the halt on that crank over there? Hmm. There we go. Finally going to get to open this up. Hey. Let me go in here and grab this crystal berry real quick. And steal all of their berries? No? Can't do that? That's uncouth. Oh, you opened the windmill. Thank you. No problem. Got anything for us? V, you... Here's something for your trouble. Got a hard seed. Thank you so much. I'll be able to enjoy the festival now. A. Hey. Alright, so now there was a... There was another event for us to do over here. The eating one. Yeah, and I've already spoken to all those characters. We have everyone for the eating competition. Are you ready to start? Ooh, it's a bunch of leaves. Welcome to this year's eating competition. The rules are simple. Mash A to eat as fast as you can. Whoever finishes their plate first is the victor. Oh no. Oh no. Mario Party, why? Here are this year's competitors. From the hive, Chubby, good luck. From the ant kingdom, Leif, you too. And Zasp, who's come from a land far from Brobagaria. Boo. With that, we are ready to begin. Give it your all for the goddess Venus. Okay, I'm so sorry for how much of this button mashing is about to uh, show up on the mic. Ready, set. Come on, Leif. Devour it, you bastard. I didn't play as many years of Mario Party as I did to lose this. <laughs> Stop, we have a winner. Ugh. Ugh. My Mario Party muscles are definitely gone, but Leif destroyed it. This year's winner is Leif. Well fought, Leif. You were a worthy rival. Congratulations, here's your reward. You got the moon off a ring. An offering for Goddess Venus shaped like the moon. Feels cold to the touch. Consider joining us next year. We may, Judge. We may. Nicely done, Leif. You've done it. You've got one heck of a stomach. Thanks. It was a piece of cake, really. This festival was good. Not gonna lie. Leif, it's not over yet. You're going to have even more fun. We'll try, Kabu. We'll try. <laughs> You've made a friend too, V. This festival is wonderful. Cheese, Kabu. You should have some fun too. I'm having the time of my life. No worries. We've got both offerings now. We should head back to Aria. Thanks, team. The festival was pretty fun after all. And it's not even over yet. Let's go, everyone. Oh. Muse. If only we could have come together. Watch over us. Muse? Huh, is that potentially a god he worships, maybe? Hmm. Well, no, maybe I'm missing the context for that. Hey, Leif, you got me really good. Not bad, not at all. It was very close. It, it actually wasn't, but... They gave me this, but I don't really want it. Here you go, pal. Whoa, thanks, Chubby. The weak stomach metal. Makes any healing item also poison the equipped ally. Oh, I see. See you around, folks. Oh yeah. Okay, so that, that synergizes with... Increases an ally's defense while poisoned by one. Yeah, that synergizes with this. So anytime a healing item gets used on Kabu, uh, he gets one extra defense because of it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually quite good for Kabu. I say we go ahead and put that on, actually, because poison only does one damage a turn, but having a, an extra bit of defense is nice, because you might just avoid damage altogether. 
Neat. Increasing Kabu's defense is always fun. So if we give Arya the offerings, we can get through to the Golden Hills. Indeed, it's been quite the festival, but we should really get uh, get ready and go meet her. Let's go and get that treasure. All right. Was there anything over here that I didn't do? Because I never went to like the right side of town, if there e e if there even is a right side of town. <coughs> Okay, yeah, there is. Cool. This festival brings everyone together. For a night, we live in true peace. To be honest, I'm still searching for a place I can live peacefully in. Maybe we'll meet again. You seem like you know where you're going. Man, look at all these cool designed characters. It, may, it, it actually makes me wish there was like a partner system in this game as well so you could get some of these. Like this little guy. Phew, it sure was a day of hard work. Couldn't move the rock. But tomorrow is a new day, and I will try again. What a fascinating, adorable creature. Oh, she's like obsessed with it. A fitting stage for a duel of this caliber. <laughs> I won't lose. You're all out of cards, Kaiba. Some chompers waltz on- okay, yeah. We've already- Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've already, uh... We've already seen that whole little, uh, conversation. Yeah, there was the diary for the, uh, priest character, I believe. Okay, so, yeah, there wasn't... Some some of the characters were the same, but some of the characters for the festival specifically moved over there. Hmm. Alright. Let me just, uh, check our inventory. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just in case something crazy happens here, like Team Rocket flies up on us and tries to beat us up. The offerings. I can sense them. You've brought both? You would wish to start the ceremony then? We're ready. Very well. Only three may perform the ceremony. Two bugs holding each blessing, and I. So one of us will have to sit this out. Well, we owe the offerings to you two. You should go. No way. You haven't had any fun. You're going. V, thank you. So who will participate in the ceremony? Um... Hmm... This is hard. Um... This almost makes me feel like this is going to be a fight. So that- so I should go with whoever I think would be best together in a fight. And for that, I think it's Kabu and V, because V can heal. Also, the Leif hasn't unlocked the third ability yet, I don't think, but Kabu and V both have two. So... I think I'm gonna go with Kabu and V. Thinking, I, I'm thinking like this is going to be a fight of some sort. Something's going to happen. All right, let's do it. Fine by us. Do your best. O oh, goddess Venus, may this ceremony please you and grant us a bountiful harvest for this following year. May our battles shake the earth and bring joy and dance to your roots. Okay, I was right. It's a battle? Now that's my style of ceremony. Now, let us spar for the goddess. Here we go. Okay, ooh. Well, I'm glad I thought about that. All right, well, we definitely want Kabu in first, and probably gonna wanna bop you a bit. Hmm, how about that? There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's funny. Is this a different uh, boss fight song, or is this the same one? It feels different. Boost defense, huh? Well, let's go ahead and take the opportunity to spy on you, then. There we are. Acolyte Arya. I cannot believe how much powerful her faith- how much power her faith has bestowed upon her. She only has 26 HP. Her vine platform is troublesome. I'll cut it down if I must. Hmm. Well, you're not really gonna be able to hurt. What's this do? V tosses the boomerang and holds it in place, damaging and flipping an enemy. Oh. Okay, well... I don't think you can hurt her. Oh, okay, you can do one. She has two defense, though. Oop. Didn't block that in time. Okay, so that was a... Total of five damage. 
Ooh. Okay, well, if she has the increased defense, we're going to want to... We're going to want to use a heavy strike, probably. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, that does six damage normally. That's a powerful attack. I can't use um, these Tornado Toss again, because since they have uh, one defense, it wouldn't do any damage since it's four separate attacks. So I guess I'm just going to go with her default attack. Get that one damage in. Ah, I got hit by that one. Okay. Alright, let's switch to V. Let's use... How much HP does she have left? 12? Let's just use a Leaf Salad on Kabu, so he'll get poisoned. And now he has an extra defense. So, yeah. And let's go ahead and bop you with another Heavy Strike. This is a really, really powerful ability. I'm glad Kabu got this, because that's just... Damage that goes through armor and does that much is fantastic. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, that was a dangerous attack. Um, hmm. I don't know how much HP that thing has, and to be completely honest, I don't know if I have the time to spy on it. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the leaf omelet. <laughs> I'm glad I I'm glad I brought all these things. Uh, I I think we should just try and focus on uh, the boss. So let's do another tornado toss. So that's four more damage. She's almost done. We can worry about the little friend that she summons later. Oh no. I didn't think about it possibly healing her. Hmm. Okay, this is bad. V is hurting. Please have really low HP. Okay, cool. Oh. Um... Well, do we have any healing items left? Berry juice. It heals five and cures a status effect. Who was it that has a revival spell now? I think it's Kabu. But it doesn't matter because we're out of TP. Hmm. I mean, ideally, this would work, right? It didn't put it to sleep, damn it. <laughs> it did not put it did not put that thing to sleep. Okay, that that didn't work out at all. Hopefully this just kills it. Finally. Wait, what? Is it does it have an HP bar? Okay, fine. I'm going to spy on it. This is a Venus Bud, I saw it in a storybook once. I wonder if they drop any rare items. I could get rich proving they're real. But maybe they'll get mad if they find out I heard it. Bleh, less talking, more fighting. Oh no, he's asleep. Uh, this is really turning out to not be great. Um, well, I, V needs to use the berry juice. Because she will die otherwise, so... And you can't attack anyone but her, so just go for it, I guess. Okay, managed to block that one. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's gonna live with, like, one H... She's gonna live with, like, one HP if I attack with both characters. So, I don't think that's gonna work, but... It's really all we have to do. Because knocking... I actually don't want to knock that thing down, because then it will heal her. It seems like it attacks if it's up in the air. Okay, it can just come down if it chooses. That's stupid. Ugh, okay. Well, we can finish the Venus butt off. And, uh... Venus can't kill both of us. So, let's just, yeah. Go away. I hate you. <laughs> Stop healing her, damn it. Okay, V is down. How much HP does she have? Four. Oh no. How much damage does it do? I don't think it does enough. 
Okay, so I basically have to perfect guard this. Or she's just gonna go up in the air, and I'm gonna be screwed. Oh wait! Hard seed! Oh! Finish it! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I finished that off <laughs> using a thrown item. It's basically the coconut from Paper Mario, but it saved my life. Oh, that is amazing. I love that so much. Whew. Alright, that, that was a bit hairier than I thought it was going to be. I was trying to just ignore the follower, hoping that it wasn't going to heal and instead just do damage, but they they thought of that. They were like, no, of course it's going to do damage. Um, hmm. Like I said, I think I want one more HP just so V and Leif are at an even 10. And then um, I'll probably focus on TP and metal points. Jeez, that's two boss fights in a row. It's been incredibly close. That was a fierce battle. I'm sure Venus enjoyed it. Respected Acolyte, have we earned passage to the Golden Hills? It is all up to the goddess. Oh, Venus, if you enjoyed our display, please grant us passage to the Golden Hills. <laughs> Did you enjoy me <laughs> just owning your Acolyte by her going up on a vine against a character that can't attack in the air and then him just pulling a seed out of his pocket and chucking it at her? Ugh. That's just one of those moments I love. The path has opened. Beyond this point lies the sacred Golden Hills. Whoa, it opened all by itself. Whatever is your business there, Venus has granted you passage. W well, whatever, we did it. That artifact will be ours in no time. Soul, relaxed. Passage, open. Mission success, we'd say. Let's tread carefully, team. We're heading into sacred ground. It won't be as simple as it seems. It would have been nice to get some sleep, but we can do it. No worries. We beat Snake Mouth, right? Eh, indeed. Let's go. Um. Oh, wait. Okay, no. We don't need sleep because we leveled up. That's right. Yeah, who needs sleep when you level up? If you're ever tired, just level up and then you'll be fine. Alright, so... We probably need to replenish our stock... Of, uh, oh, why do I keep going in there? Items, yes. Um, hello. I want to take out. Uh, okay, I have a ton of honey drops. And I actually would have liked to have one in that fight. So, let's take a couple of those out. And, you don't sell crunchy leaves. Weird. Hmm. I wonder if we can just turn the aphid egg into an omelette? You know what, let's try it. Yeah, wait, did, did I get it? Okay, I did. It just went so fast and there wasn't like a confirmation, so I was a bit confused for a second. Hello. I'll give you one. An aphid egg. Just a fried egg. I've never tasted a dish of this caliber, I'm sure. Fried egg, stored 6 HP. Yeah, that's pretty good. And there's another recipe for me. You know what? There's one other thing I want to try. It's super cheap, so... Let's try the honey drop with the egg. Maybe you can have, like, a honey egg. Give two. Aphid? Honey... Wait, wait no. Uh, I'm sorry, I chose the incorrect one. I want an aphid egg and a honey drop. Ready to me to cook up perfection? Please don't be a mistake. Oh no, it's a mistake. Tch. Not even I could have salvaged such a foul combination. It recovers one TV, but don't eat it. Alright, well, we learned how to make a mistake. Alright, so we've got a 6 HP restore, 5 TP, that, and our good old mistake. I guess we could always just have, um... Uh, Kabu eat that, because I imagine it probably poisons you. So, it would actually be kind of useful for him, in all honesty. So yeah, we can just go ahead and have Kabu use that item, if the need ever arises. Well, this is different music. I didn't expect it to be so, like, dark and sinister? Also, what is this? There's a hole. Something could fit in here. A package. 
<laughs> the item does nothing. Of course it does. Well, yeah. Is there... Are there any quests that we had to do? Hmm. Stung me in the... Some midges stung me in the tunnel down south, so I dropped my ball and ran away. Please help me find it. Huh. Midges. I thought I fought all the enemies there. Tunnel down south. Friend of mine is in need of parts. So I need me the... Make sure it reaches the diver at Bagaria's Pier. Yeah, there's just books. I want a new taste. Hearty breakfast. Uh, yeah. And the cable car bodyguard. Yeah, we didn't actually do that. Um, I wonder if... I wonder if we can go back and do that, actually. Will it let us? You know what? No, let's just, let's just save it. Oh well. Alrighty, well, uh, we do have a full heal save point here, so I think this is probably a good spot to go ahead and end this episode off. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.